Yeah guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video, Dodo Supercard Season 4, episode number 84. And today, instead of doing a um, Thursday really long stream, which I was actually planning on doing, but instead guys, I kind of woke a little bit, I woke up a little bit later, um, kind of had a lazy morning, had some lunch, and then um, uh, me and my brother decided we're going to go down to our city in, you know, the big city where I live in Switzerland, which is about an hour and a half drive, so not really going to do the big one, you know, the big 12, 13 plus, 14 plus hour stream today, um, and hopefully I can make up um, to you guys that maybe on Saturday, uh, where we where we do a big long stream on Saturday instead, which might be um, cool for a lot of you guys, because maybe some of you um, obviously have school on Thursdays and Fridays, and don't get to catch those insane long streams. I know I stream for so long, eventually, either before or after school, you guys get to catch them for a bit, but how about we do a weekend stream instead? So the plan for today's video, guys, is just to do a really long, grinding, supercar video, so you can put this on and play some RD. Um, and stuff like that, and we're gonna have a little bit of talk about uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Whoa! We're gonna have a little talk about backlash predictions. This will also be for my backlash predictions. I won't actually do a separate video doing backlash predictions just because I don't know um, where Flame and Captain uh, kind of lie at the moment. I know Flame kind of quit the whole suit. God, I know both of them would probably want to do the predictions video, but. Um, it's already it's already Thursday. I've got some things coming up the next couple of days uh, with the streams with the stuff, um, you know, just 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 stuff. Um, and uh, and yeah, that way we can kill two birds with one stone. It gives me something to talk about as well in today's video. So I'll go through the match card, talk a little bit about the matches. I also kind of want to give you guys a review of what I thought of the greatest Royal Rumble, the winner of the greatest Royal Rumble himself. Uh, a little bit about Raw, a little bit about SmackDown. I watched over the last couple of days, um, so for, for once I didn't actually even stay up at night to watch them, uh, which was pretty cool. Went to bed, woke up the next morning fairly early, and then watched them then. So not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, um, let's go get up the, um, what should we start? Should we start off with Backlash? Let's start off with Backlash. Uh, WWE match card. I'm going to try and obviously grind the RD as well while we talk, not just focusing on talking, you know. Um, oh, I've got the match cut up here, brilliant. Did not know that match was a, was a thing, okay. I uh, just want to make sure that all the matches are here. Hopefully we don't miss a match. Um, hopefully, by the way, guys, the main event. The main event would be really awesome if it is AJ Nakamura. Um, I think, I believe this, this will, well, no, I don't believe this will be their third match in WWE. Um, I believe that this will be their 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 best match so far at Backlash. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, so yeah, there's also a couple predictions here for like preview kickoff kickoff matches. You know, matches that always get announced after the go home shows. Um, so we'll have a look uh, at what this website thinks could happen, which is Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Ember Moon, and Natalia. Versus the Riot Squad and Mickey James, so an eight uh, an eight woman uh, tag there, which would be uh, interesting. Maybe Ronda Rousey would uh, would play some kind of part in that. Who knows? Um, if indeed that match happens, or a, a type of match like this where it's faces against heels for the women, a multi man match. Who knows? It might be a, a six way a, a six tag instead of an eight. But um, I keep wanting to say six man tag, six woman tag. Um, I'm, I'd go, I'd go faces just because they kind of need, I suppose, Ember Moon. Natalia's kind of doing something actually right now with um, Ronda Rousey, and just putting her in association with Ronda Rousey um, should give Natalia the edge um, as well with Ember Moon, who's obviously just come up, and then Sasha Banks and Bailey. I have no clue what they're doing with them and their feud. Is that go? I have genuinely no idea what's going on with those two. Um, Cruiserweight Championship, Cedric Alexander versus Buddy Murphy. Again, this is not confirmed, but if it was to be confirmed, I'd go with Cedric to retain. And then Bar and New Day. Um, I'll go, I'll go Bar. I think just because Xavier Woods got the win on SmackDown. Um, this not, might not be a backlash match. This could be the next pay per view on because they're kind of just starting their feud. Uh, but if this match was to happen, I'd go Bar because they're the new arrivals on SmackDown. They lost to. Uh, broken Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, so I kind of think they need the win. 
Now on to the match card that's actually confirmed. I'll start off with um, the match I did actually know was happening, which is Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, I don't see any way in hell um, that Kevin Owens and Sami are going to win this. I would like for Kevin and Sami to win this. Um, but of course, Raw is all about the big men. And um, Braun and Lashley are, of course, um, two out of the big four, big five kind of like big men on Raw, to, which is just a terrible main event scene, in my opinion, right now. Raw, um, you know, Bobby Lashley, Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. That's, uh, that's one terrible, terrible main event scene, if you ask me. Um, just not just not really fun, not really enjoyable, not much to, uh, you know, I like Braun Strowman, I even like Bobby Lashley, I love this running TNA, but he's a face right now, so's Braun, and then he's got heelish tendencies, it doesn't really make sense, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Braun and Bobby Lashley. Next we've got Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass, um, for me this is, this is an easy one, and that's Daniel Bryan hands down. Um, it doesn't doesn't do a lot of good for Big Cass. I'm gonna say just because he just this is his first match back, or is it? His, did he have a squash match on a post? No, I don't think he did. I believe this is his first match back. Uh, yeah, I believe so. He might have had a match on SmackDown. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But yeah, um, I don't. I just don't see them making Daniel Bryan lose. Of course, it's possible for Big Cass to get the win. Um, and then maybe prolong their feud. Eventually, Daniel Bryan it has to come uh, has to come out the the winner in this feud. Uh, I'm pretty confident with that. So, but for this match, you know, I'm just going to go Daniel Bryan. That's the way I see it going. Uh, the United States Championship match. Um, Jeff Hardy defending his championship against Randy Orton. Again, I really hope Randy doesn't win this. Look, I don't. Randy is kind of getting out from from that phase for me that I was I just couldn't stand him. He's kind of getting away from that just because there's so much amazing talent on SmackDown. That Randy Orton, I, I think he'll be fine. He'll be fine on SmackDown. There's just so much awesome talent now on SmackDown everywhere. Mid card, main event, um, the women's division, just it, everything. The Smack, the 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 tag scene right now on SmackDown is great. So. Randy Orton for me, I was a huge fan of his back in the day, and I'm starting, you know, a lot about ever since he kind of got away from the whole authority thing and moved on from that, and then kind of went to SmackDown, became a face, and I I, I stopped kind of actually caring about Randy at that point. Um, kind of when he came back, I would say maybe getting Brock Lesnar. I'm not sure if that is indeed correct what I'm saying, but I feel like that's around the time zone maybe. But after that. But right now, he's, he's, I, I feel it's all right, especially with the United States Championship scene. Um, I'm liking it at the moment. Um, and, of course, hopefully with uh, Andrade and Amas to come, it will just get better. That said, I see Jeff Hardy retaining his championship um, against Randy Orton. And I hope that is the outcome of the match. And I'm sorry I'm really rambling on about Randy Orton there, wasn't I? Um, so let's move on straight away. Seth Rollins versus The Miz. This is an easy one. Uh, Seth Rollins, I'm pretty sure, is going to retain just because Jeff Hardy... It's Jeff Hardy, Randy, uh, they're both on SmackDown, so, yeah, it's not, yeah, and then Miz is of course on SmackDown, they don't have both, so Seth Rollins for me, um, even though, what a, what a huge um, kind of shock thing if Miz would win, I'd love if Miz won, of course, he would tie uh, Chris Jericho's record, um, anyway, let's move on, Seth Rollins for me on that match, Nijax versus Alexa Bliss, uh, again, this is, for me, another kind of predictable um, match, I think Alexa will eventually get her title back, it might not be from Nia Jax, but I think Alexa has m multiple more reigns in her, I think WWE are very keen on her, which I'm happy about, because I'm very keen on Alexa too, uh, the right thing was, I suppose, to give Nia that belt though at Mania, that's what they did, um, it's definitely not the right moment to take it off Nia Jax, so for me, Nia Jax is going to retain um, I've just realised I've gone with every face so far. I know there's a couple matches where it's face for, on face, face versus, well actually not that many, just just, just Jeff Hardy Randy. Um, 
SmackDown Women's Championship match, Carmella versus Charlotte Flair. Well, here we go. I'm finally picking a heel, and I believe that Carmella will retain her championship, just like Alexa. But I think even more, uh, even even sooner rather than later, Charlotte Flair will gain that championship back, probably off Carmella actually as well. Um, I just don't think this is the right time to do it. Carmella's just won it, give her another month with it, maybe even two more months with it, then maybe give it back to Charlotte, and I'd love to see a uh, a Charlotte Becky Lynch feud or um yeah I'd love to see a Charlotte Becky Lynch feud uh, either e either one of them could be here it would be very funny to try and to swap very it would be nice to see a change in Becky actually do something I'd rather see her as a face cuz she's a gifted face and Charlotte's a gifted heel but again if if it takes them to be swapped heel face wise I'd be down for that too um, so yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Carmella to retain there. Next up, we have got, uh, I love Samoa Joe, I'm just going to put that out there. One of my favourite right now, probably even um, right now at the moment, I'm enjoying what he's doing more than AJ Styles. But yeah, um, you know, one, one of my one of my favourite, one of my TNA boys, um, along alongside of course AJ Styles, you know, Bobby Roode, uh, Eric Young, Jeff Hardy, all of them, just because I watched them growing up when I was just... You know, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, like you know, when you when you, I was still very, very young at that time, and growing up watching them, uh, just in now, even as uh, you know, much older, just makes me very, very keen on them, very fond on them, and of course, my favourite wrestlers. So um, I'm looking forward for Samojo. I think you know, we all know Reigns is good. He's a good wrestler. You know, he he can he puts on good matches. Maybe not always against Brock Lesnar, but he does put on good matches. All right, just saying he's he's bad at wrestling. That's that's I I believe that's not true. I'm not I'm not at all keen on Roman Reigns because of his booking and stuff, um, and how they how they portray him in WWE. And for that reason, um, I, I dislike him. You know, when I say I dislike him, it's for that reason. Not I don't dislike him as a wrestler or as a human being. I dislike uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, you know, kayfabe wise. Anyway, um, who's gonna win this match? It's it's a tough one for me because uh, I'm like look. Samojo doesn't really need this win, but he needs it more than Roman, in my opinion. It's kind of a nothing match, because Raw, SmackDown, there's no championship on the line, their feud's been eh, Joe coming out, cutting a couple promos on Reigns, it's just, it's been, you know, it's just one of those feuds that it's not that important about at all. And for that reason, I feel they're just going to give... Oh, I feel like they're just going to give their golden boy the win, but then again, it's Samoa Joe. It looks like they really tr want to try and push him in the main event, and then maybe Roman doesn't need it. I know he got, he's doing something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Ah, oh, this is crazy. I should go Roman Reigns. I'm going to go Samoa Joe. I'm just going to go... I'm going to go Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe to win that match. AJ Styles versus Nakamura, hopefully in the main event. Um... Yeah, this this one's a really interesting one. This is a really really interesting match. I'm gonna go ahead and just yeah yeah Shinsuke Nakamura Shinsuke uh, Nakamura is winning the belt of AJ Styles. Now the only reason I think this will happen it's a no disqualification, um, so may, maybe the club could interfere on AJ's behalf and I don't know turn what turn AJ I don't I don't know they they won't turn AJ heel. I just feel like he Shinsuke lost that mania. He didn't win uh, at Backlash, and now if if he loses again to AJ Styles, uh, you know that's it's it's, it's kind of I don't want to say I don't want to overuse the word buried um, because it's completely false, but it it's making Nakamura look you know he's already lost to Jinder Mahal, he's lost to AJ Styles, he lost I'm pretty sure he lost another championship match was it maybe against a Randy or oh, I don't know but he's lost a lot of championship matches. Um, this is yeah. This will be this will be his fifth championship loss, um, championship match loss. If he loses this one, if you want to count the Great Royal Rumble one, I know it's a uh, a double a double count out or whatever. Double yeah, double count out I believe. Uh, which is still a loss. You know that that's that's he didn't win the belt. He lost the match. Um, I know AJ lost too. But anyway, I'm gonna go with Nakamura. I think. I think now that Nakamura's heel, I'm ready to see him champion. I absolutely love Nakamura as a heel. He is absolutely amazing as a heel. What a great decision to turn him here. You know, that, that just that just proves that sometimes someone you're like, oh, I'm not sure if they would work as a heel. It would be interesting. But he does. He really, really works as a heel. So uh, 
would be uh, would be would be absolutely fine with him winning the belt. So there we go, guys. Those are my predictions after about 15, 20 minutes of rambling. Hope you guys uh, could put up with that. I just realised all oh, the music stopped ages ago. <laughs> so let's let's uh, let's get some music back on. We're just grinding our day as well, of course. Well, while I was while I was doing all those predictions, and uh, I'm ready to set off now in about 20 to 30 minutes um, to go to. Uh, to go get some, uh, yeah, to leave, leave my house, you know guys, leave my house, it's been about four days since I've left my house, which is very, very sad, um, but yeah, what I'm going to do today guys, is I'm actually going to go buy some Magic the Gathering cards, now, let me know down below in the comments, I know I've asked this a couple times on, on stream, but my brother and all of his friends, because uh, some, you know, my friends do, they've all been playing Magic, and they've got me into it, which... You know, you might be saying, "Dude, you're, you you got you've already got your card game. You've got a super card. Don't don't get into another one. It's too late. I'm kind of um, I'm I'm kind of into it for sure. I'm gonna go buy some Magic the Gathering cards. But you know, as I live in Switzerland, a little village in Switzerland, you can't just go to the store two minutes down the road and go get them. You have to drive an hour and a half away uh, to a city to go get them. So that's what we're gonna go do. I'll be back, guys, later on when I do get back." I'm gonna have some fun opening all those magic packs and stuff. You know, I'm not. Um, it's it, the, the, the good thing about this is it's ring domination. It's not road to glory, so I can I can do this however I want. I feel you know when it's our day, it's more lenient. I can I can afford to not even grind that much on Thursday. Hell, not even grind that much on on, on Friday and still be absolutely fine to finish the event. Um, you know, it's our day, so yeah. The other thing I do want to tell you guys is obviously Dusty Rhodes is the time card. I believe, I uh, don't quote me in this, but I am pretty sure. And while you, by the time you're watching this, you'll, you'll know already 100% who the 34 card is. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's Baron Corbin. Um, Baron Corbin is a single, so you know, it's fine. I got Luke Harper and Kane, um, and of course we'll have Jeff Hardy after this to pro as well. Uh, I've, been, uh, I've been lucky in the last... My last pull and the RD card uh, to get two pros from that, which will cover my last man standing deck now. Um, a couple more would be lovely. I just make sure I've got compatible tags everywhere for LMS and uh, and maybe for King of the Rings. I'm not too sure if I've done that. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm almost there, which is really cool uh, that I've gotten also kind of lucky as well with the arrows. Um, next thing on the agenda though, WrestleMania 34 wise, is definitely to get myself that female pro because the female uh, event card will be coming soon. Yes, it'll be last man standing next week, but in two weeks today, I'm guessing it will be RTG for that female single. Um, so along along you know along the lines of uh, of. Um, of a female pro, I'd like to get one in the next two weeks. I'd definitely like to get one in the next two weeks. That way, in last man standing, at two because one is a slight disadvantage because then your females are unbalanced, which makes your Titan single match, your Titan female single matches, a lot harder to win. Um, that's definitely what I'm hoping for. I'd like a, a, a you know, regular WrestleMania pro female along along the lines of a uh, Ember Moon, maybe. Ember Moon would be nice. Um, who else do I have? Um, Ember Moon, Sarah Lemire, Natalia, uh, Nijax for Ember Moon for me, I think. Yeah, um, Nijax for Ember Moon. Nijax is very good in the tier, so is Ember Moon, so yeah, yeah, either of them would be great. Alright, guys, I'm done. I'm done rambling, I'm done going on. I'd like to just tell you guys I started a Monster Fusion. Biggie was my beast, I'm not sure if any of you guys know that yet or not. I've only got six hours um, left to, to do this. Six hours, six hours, go down for two hours, come back. Yeah, already at 40 charges. I got a decent deck there. You see Undertaker. I've got a female as well, WrestleMania 34. I uh, believe I've got the best deck, or second best deck. Second best deck in this battleground. Uh, I'd like to welcome, by the way, Curb. Ah, oh, it's Lunatic there. Yeah. I'd like to welcome Curb to the team. Curb Stomp. Um, brand new recruit D. Wow, you got a good deck as well. Damn. Nice. Oh, you got the best deck, as a matter of fact. Never mind. <laughs> All right, uh, just just myself there, KG, the True Dark Lord, and D with a couple more charges. You can always count on me to get to get maxed. I've got about twenty, eh, about fifteen, twenty minutes before we leave. I'm gonna try and see if I can get up to about sixty charges. 
um, you know, about halfway, um, chuck them on maybe a bit more, that'd be nice, and then I'll get the rest when I come home. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm not sure if there'll be a second part of this video or not. If there isn't, thank you for watching. Thank you for, uh, you know, listening to my rambling. Uh, for once, I'm not going to try and title this video anything special, guys. It's not going to be platinum bag or this or that or life pool. It's just going to be grinding some ring domination and doing some backlash predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and uh, maybe there'll be some kind of extra clip at the end. Who knows? But if there isn't, take care, guys, and peace out.